everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm just going to show you my journal that I've clear create, created for um, the hashtag Creep on June 24, created by Tracy Fox of Foxy, the Foxy Crafters Facebook group and, and um, Foxy Creations on Etsy and YouTube. All her links are, are put below in the description box. Um, I know it's before the end of June and it's supposed to be every day of June but I didn't do that. I just did my own thing using her kits and um, created a, a book with it, just concentrating on the sort of abandoned house, old house kind of thing. So it's a bit chunky isn't it really? I think it's the chunkiest one I've ever made. I think I might have to do what um, somebody else I know does where they do the, the signatures and then they create the... the cover afterwards usually I do the cover first but I think I might need to do what she does do the do it the other way around especially if I'm going to do something like this again so this beautiful edge is from um which crafty do and they're running out and I don't have any of this one left and I don't know where else to get them from so if you've got any ideas please let me know anyway there's my cover I was quite happy with the way that turned out and I did sort of like I did stick it down with aqua deer so I might do do that one again in aqua deer so this is a little flip up with a little thing here from the girls on paper. Just made a little um, book, book place or a little tag you can put in your journal. This is for sale if you're interested. This is a lift up. And it's uh, down there and you could write on the back or put something on the back. This is from a, uh, I think I've said before, from Kofi from Kylie's Card Craft and there's an element here that's Craftily Hall that's the whole part, part of the story that Tracy and her husband Justin created very clever of them and they based the whole kit around that I think I told you before this this came from uh, the die came from Uniquely Creative it's an Australian company made a pocket out of an old pocket given to me it's probably a bit bulky probably shouldn't have put it in there really but that's alright and there's something here, an old postcard. Like if you go to an old house, sometimes you can find all sorts of different things left behind. We bought an old house once and the old man who lived in the house left behind a few things, a bit of papers and some doilies and things. Because I don't think he ever wanted to use them. And a pocket here with an old puzzle from another girl's own annual paper. I think I've shown you these already, so I apologise if you've seen these already. The map of Crafty Hall. Fold out paper to write in or put something on. There's a little file here with a case file that they've, they've actually asked somebody to come and have a look at their house because they think there's some ghosts in the house, some past spirits. Like I said to you before, Victorians were really heavily into that kind of thing and Sir Arthur Condor was a great uh, spiritualist and he actually investigated that, um, helped investigate that story of the fairies in the garden that came out with the two women um, photographed some fairies in the garden and um, uh, they were never was really showing whether there was, uh, I think they were discredited, but the, one of the sisters always insisted that it was actually true, so I don't know. An envelope there, there's something in there. A photograph, you saw me create one of these pockets. A little decoration here. There's pianola paper. It's just a I got this from the girls on paper as well. This they're sort of like little cases, so I burnished it up and created a little card there. And one of those autonomon autonomons autonom I can't get my word in my mouth right now. Autonom autonomons, uh, autonomons, I think that's called from the Victorian area that you often see on on um the Antiques Roadshow. So this is the little folded particularly on the, the the man who came to investigate the house. So there's a flip up, there's the owners of the house, there's the house itself. It's a picture of one of the people who used to live there. There's his car. Yeah, little just 
just decoration that one is and there's a little folder there I think that's fun I think it should be that way around K so on this side you've just got a journaling card and a bit of newspaper old paper no music paper I should say just for something different and something else in there there's another file file folder and she's got some things in there to decorate the journal with got a couple of those with things in for to decorate with there was so much stuff in these kits I just didn't use it all I've got heaps heaps left over it's just a little journaling card a tag Did I create an open tag there or just that just like there's another little pocket there? Yeah, that's all. And this is just a bit of blank paper that was in the kit just to put something on if you wanted to. Old book page. And this is an envelope. Part of the other envelope. There's another tag I made. From another old book I had. There's another file folder. If you've got any other better ideas of how to close those, please let me know. I know how to click them together, and there's a little picture there, some old dolls. This is just a card in. I made, cut the window. I saw this on one of the Facebook groups. I cut out the window a little bit and put some candles. In the window behind from the one of the other elements. And then we created a border using little little pictures that were a part of the kit. This is a little slip up, not much of one. Old book page. And this is I created from an old photo of, um, album folder thing. And so I have got a face uh a U uh video on that if you want to check that out probably there's another this picture in here from the girls on our annual I put a lot of some things in there from the girls on annual because I thought they were about the same same vintage of the story I can't get that back in again now there you go it's very delicate I got that there because I was hoping there was like a an arrow type thing because there's a big pocket here there's something in there if I can get it out didn't know whether I should put something on there or not because it's an envelope. There's something in the envelope as well. Might have to put a tag on there on there after all. That lifts up and there's a old insurance policy. And there's another file folder with some things in there. And it's tagged just with a swinging decoration. There's a double pocket there. Crab of our of an envelope from the, from the kit, old book page, some frames that were in the kit, just pop them in there. That's just another lift up. An old page, and there's another file folder, there's some things in there too. I just realised we see the yellow on there, so I might put some washi tape. And some side tuck there, so there's something there. These are all from the kit, all of them. So just pop them all in there together on the pianola paper. You saw me make this this photograph cabinet card top thing, and I made it into a pocket. So there's something there. Oh, it's not a pocket. It's an envelope. It's something inside the envelope for you to have a look at. Explore. I put on, put, put, so I might have to put a uh, tag on the other one as well, I think. Okay, tag certainly helps. Made a waterfall here. Doesn't really get very clear, so I'm not too sure. I think I might just think about how to make that a bit more clear that that's a waterfall. And this is my three-dimensional um, pocket because there's not a tag there. And that's my whole journal. I, I am wrapped with the way that turned out. Because I didn't want to concentrate on the whole, I wanted to concentrate on the 
deserted old hall hall top thing with memories and things like that rather than the creepy side of things so I've just um, I've got the stuff about the psychic I don't find that's creepy at all and uh, but I didn't want bats and skeletons and things like that because that's just not my thing but uh, I'm happy to to do the old thing so I really hope you like this journal if you want to buy it let me know and um, put it below and I will pop it in my Etsy shop soonish <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today and being with me while I did my Creep on June take on Creep on June 24 hashtag and check out the other people doing the. There's loads of people doing it and there's just so many videos to watch. It's, it gets a bit gets a bit much. So even though I haven't been able to catch up on all the videos, but I have seen some. So thank you very much for creating this, Tracy, and thank you very much for joining me, everybody else. Please take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.